Hey, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Have you ever wondered what it actually looks like to work with a virtual assistant or a virtual team? Well, you're in the right place because we're going to take a look at exactly that. Hey, I'm Jen Lehner. If you're new around here, I'm a digital marketing and system strategist, and I help entrepreneurs grow their business exponentially by showing them how to use digital tools, how to outsource the smart way, and how to incorporate smart systems into their businesses. And today, we're going to take a look at what it actually looks like to work with a virtual team. And maybe you already have a team or a virtual assistant, and you're just here because you're curious as to see what it looks like in somebody else's business. So I'm happy to have you along. Let's get into it. And of course, you got to start the day off with a good cup of coffee, although I am going to be giving up coffee soon, but that's a video for another day. Now it's time to check my email because I know that Malou will have sent me a test run of our weekly newsletter for the front row. And the front row is my free community. And what we do and what my team does is round up everything that happened in the group that week and shares it with the whole community. So that's always waiting in my inbox on Monday morning. And I just look through it to make sure everything looks right and to make sure that maybe there's not something else that I wanna add to it. And when it all looks good, then what I do is I hit reply to her and, and then using keyboard shortcuts, I type LGPS and watch what happens. Ta-da, looks great, please send, thanks, with a smiley emoji. But all I did was type, I'll show you that again, LGPS, that's in another video, that's keyboard shortcuts. So now I get to head to the gym and this really is a luxury for any CEO because I know while I'm working out at the gym, my team is busy getting things done. And now it's time to head to the office and of course, I love to listen to TikTok radio on the way. So our team meetings happen every Monday uh, at 9 a.m. and we do have a structure. The team meetings are typically very short, about 15 minutes, unless they need to go longer, like if we have a special project or something like that. Our format looks like this. So uh, we start off by just greeting each other. Hey, how are you doing? How was your weekend? And then the very next thing we do is we open up the calendar, we do a screen share, and we look at every day in the coming week. So we look at Monday through Friday and maybe on into the following Monday, but typically we just look at the week. And then I will call out all of the things that are happening. Like if I'm appearing on a podcast or we have a podcast guest or we're sending out a particular email, all that stuff is on the calendar and we just sort of announce it. We say, this is what the week looks like ahead. Then after that, we pass the microphone to our, let's say, our systems VA, that is Malou. And we asked Malou to give us a, uh, a breakdown of all of our stats from the, the week prior. And the stats that we look at are all of our social media stats. Did we gain new followers on each particular channel? Did we lose followers? So we're looking at all of that. We look at our email open rates, our unsubscribe rates. She also reports all of our YouTube statistics. Did we get new viewers? Uh, how many views did, the, did last week's video get? Is that up or down from the week before that? And then once a month, Malou also gives us a breakdown of our Google My Business and our Google Analytics statistics. After we go through that, then we toss the microphone over to our video editor, virtual assistant, Shalane. And then Shalane lets us know anything that she needs to tell us or ask us for, for the videos that she's gonna be producing that week. 
Then we pass the microphone to Nika, who is our head VA. And basically Nika will, anything that I haven't mentioned to Malou and Shalane, Nika will add to that. So if she has more that she needs to share with the whole team, she will share it. If she has any requests for assets or information or whatever, then she will, at that point, she will ask it. When she's done, then we will release Malou and Shalane, they leave the meeting and then Nika and I will go a little deeper on things that need to be taken care of that usually just involve the two of us. So that could be just for another five or 10 minutes or we might end up turning that into a workshop. But that Monday meeting is really, really important for us to start the week off right. One of the ways we communicate with each other throughout the day is this app called Voxer. And we really love it because it is kind of like a walkie talkie. It's just so easy to use. There's a free version. They don't have to pay for any data or anything like that. So um, I've got everybody in a team and then I have everyone in, in their own individual channel. And when I want to talk to the team as a team, so the whole, the whole group, then all I have to do is hit the walkie talkie and do that. So Guys, I'm just doing a demo of Voxer. Hello, hello. You notice it sort of makes a walkie-talkie sound. So in a minute, we'll probably hear back from Nika. And I can see that she listened. Hi, Jen. How's it going? Okay. And what's great is in addition to audio, we could share images that are already in your camera roll. You could take a picture like right then and there. So geez. You could send a GIF, you could send your location, and you could just click the paperclip and attach anything that you want to. Now, most of the day when I'm working with my team and when they're working with each other, it happens in Trello. It is our favorite project management system. And what you're looking at right now is the project board for all of our video productions. So it's kind of meta. This video that you're watching right now is being born, and the card for that is right here. And it's a day in the life of a CEO working with a virtual assistant. And so far, as I'm recording, we've gotten as far as we've talked about the team meeting and Voxer, and now we're talking about Trello. So I will check that off. And yeah, so we're all able to see what each other are doing. We can tag each other, we can put deadlines, we can add people to certain cards, and we can move the project through production. So what's gonna happen is when I'm done filming this, I'm gonna move this over, actually it should be here into film. I'm gonna move it from here into to edit. Once it moves there, my video editor, Shalane will get an alert that this needs to be edited. Once she edits it, she's going to move it over here for review. I'm going to get an alert when she does that. So I'll come in and actually Nika will do review number one and Nika will catch any typos or any glaring errors. Then after she reviews it, if there's any edits, she moves it back over to the editing board. Then after it's edited again, it gets moved back over to review. At this point, I come into the picture, so I get tagged. I come in and look it over and see if there's any edits. If there's any more edits, it moves back over here and then gets moved back to review. And after I review it again, by that time, it's usually ready to go. And then we move it over here to publish. After it's published, then it's time to promote. So we move it over here to promote. When it's done being promoted, it gets moved over here to complete. So um, this is really a wonderful way to work with a team. And uh, we have more general boards. So we've got our daily tasks board, and this might look like a hot mess to the viewer, but as you can see, we've got over here, cumulative team tasks right here, Nika, Malou, and Shalane. We talk to each other a lot right here. Here's another board that we use for content creation. So my team will put the content here for social media posts, but then I click in and make my comments and I edit the caption and make sure the caption says what I want it to say. And then we have Trello boards for specific courses and projects so we can really dig deep. And this is the one for our Front Row CEO program. This is our signature program. We have everything from our pre-launch materials to our debrief after every time we launch. It all goes here. Another really important way that I work with my VAs um, 
especially in the beginning. So let's say for like the first six months that a VA is with me, then they do a daily report. And what the, this is, could not be more simple. It's basically, it's a Google Doc and they update it every day and they answer three questions. The first one is, what did you work on today? The second one is, do you need help with anything? And the third one is, do you have any other comments or suggestions or recommendations? And this is just priceless, honestly, because for a number of reasons. Number one, what did you work on today? This isn't really about checking in on your VA and policing them to make sure that they were work really working. It was. It's more to just make sure that you are on the same page because you might see that they're working on something that you forgot to tell them was completely scrapped. That has happened to me before. I see that a VA has been working all day on something that I forgot to say, hey, you know what, oops, we're actually not gonna do that project anymore. So that's great. Number two, the second question, do you need help with anything? Well, what a great, you know, you don't want a virtual assistant who is going to be interrupting you all day long. At that point, then you might as well do it yourself, right? If you have to stop every time you have to answer a question, but you want your virtual assistant to feel like they can ask you a question if they're stumped. And so this is a wonderful place to do that where they can feel comfortable and you can also answer the question when it fits into your schedule. Then the last one, do you have any ideas, suggestions, recommendations? This is an amazing part of this tool that we use because your VA might be talented in areas that you had no idea about. So as your VA is working through your projects, they're going to see things that they can improve and you don't know everything. <laughs> That's for sure. I sure don't know everything. And so I have introduced so many cool new things into my business just because of that one simple question. After about six months, you could keep going with it, but it's a great tool for the very beginning few months, for sure, with a virtual assistant. So what you're looking at here is my business inbox. And this section over here to the left is like the main catch-all. And then you'll notice these sub boxes. Um, this one is gen follow-up. The next one is a waiting reply. The next one is delegated. And the next one is to read. Now, if you click here, you can watch a video all about how we set this up and you know just step by step how we make this work for us and how i'm able to have other people manage my inbox but for now what i want to show you is two things number one this section here that says delegated if i come into my inbox and i see something like i noticed that there was this email from kajabi i knew right away this is something that my team is going to deal with so i clicked on the star once and then twice and it gives it this like red little arrows icon that automatically moved the email right here so my team is going to see that this was delegated and they know they need to act on this the other thing is and we're going to and i go into detail in the video i just i'm going to put it up again here it is this video where i'm going to show you exactly how to use this very cool plugin it's called simple gmail notes but you'll see there's like a little highlight there and it says hi nika uh, right and so she knows there's something there extra that she needs to see so i'll click into this one and right up there at the top see that's the plugin that is giving me the ability to do this so i can give a note to say hey please always file these emails from andy into the to read and label it as a favorite marketer okay she can also reply and make notes to me there as well and this is just so much more elegant than having to forward emails with an explanation because you know how emails they just get lost in the thread sometimes you can miss an email so really love that plugin. So this is another way that we communicate with each other inside our inbox. And again, watch that video to see how we set this up. So that's just a quick glimpse into what it looks like to work with a virtual team in a day. And hopefully I covered all the things that you were curious about. If I left anything out, please put it down in the comments below and I'll do a part two if this is something that interests you. And also, if this is something that interests you, make sure you hit the little bell thing and like and subscribe and all of the things so that you never miss one of these trainings. See you next time.